Think about the things that you bring with you when you go out. Your wallet, keys, phone. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that's usually it for me. Until recently, what if you added another item, a pocket journal? Carrying around this pocket journal for the past few months has brought unexpected transformations to my relationship with myself, my thoughts, my feelings, my ideas, and has resulted in seriously leveling up my journaling game. I wanna share these changes with you and hopefully you start to do the same thing because it is so easy and so simple to carry around this thing. And also, and this is an idea that we'll return to later, this journal is an amplifier. The power of this activity of bringing this around is the power of yourself, a power that's already within you and this is just bringing it out. So if you know anything about me and my channel, you know that I love journaling and I wanna briefly examine why I believe journaling is so important and this is vital to understanding why the simple act is so transformative. With the types of things that life tends to throw our way, problems, complexities, issues, we need strong relationships with ourself to take on all of these things and all the parts of ourselves, our mental, emotional, spiritual, physical health. We need a way to organize our thoughts and experiences and take on certain things from a calm and centered state. And journaling is one of the easiest, simplest, and most accessible ways of doing this. You take what feels like cluttered fog in the mind and you materialize it on paper and then you can view it from an outside perspective, but you're also going very deep within. You gain clarity, relieve stress, find new connections and ideas, and and again, it's easy, you just write. In terms of ratio from effort to reward and benefits, there's not really many things like it. So journaling is a powerhouse of an activity and carrying around this pocket journal is increasing your proximity to that activity on a regular basis. By allowing this item into your immediate space wherever you go, you make it an impulse to engage in something that brings you closer to yourself and improves your life in real time. Now, most of us already have impulses with the things that we carry on us, and you might know what I'm talking about, the phone. We have this tendency to carry around our phone with us with the claim that it's for communication, but really, most of the time when we grab it, it's to scroll or it's to go on social media. So the more accurate statement would actually be, I'm gonna bring my phone with me so I can scroll whenever I can. The proximity of our phone and if we're being honest with ourselves, the effects usually result in a drainage of energy, wasting time, cluttering the mind, and if anything, increasing anxiety and stress. Well, the pocket journal is the opposite of that. The phone is an indulgence in input, taking in something, experiencing something, consuming something, overstimulating the mind. The pocket journal is a healthy form of output creating something, again, materializing your thoughts on paper. You're making the mind and body and soul go to work. You exercise your spiritual and physical muscles, making you stronger. In moments of silence or meandering, I notice myself, instead of whipping out the phone, taking out this pocket journal and just writing down my thoughts, writing down what's around me, what's happening, an idea that strikes me. A big reason that we go to the phone in moments of silence is because of accumulated stress over the time of our lives. And we just don't even notice it. We're not even aware of it, but that's really what it is. We go to it for an escape. But this pocket journal allows you to deconstruct that stress and anxiety in those moments of silence. Notice how these are two very different actions and they yield different results. And you'll notice those results in your life if you do this. So let's go into some specific things that carrying around this pocket journal has done for me. A heightened sense of awareness. You'll notice yourself become more conscious of monitoring your thoughts and feelings because this pocket journal forces you to confront those things. And with this heightened awareness, you start to see what's really important. You notice thoughts within your mind that are there for a reason, and what will likely start to happen is you also realize how much ignoring you've been doing, how much ignoring and suppressing you've been doing with your own thoughts and feelings. There's certain thoughts and things that you should pay attention to, and this pocket journal allows you to record those things down. Taking out this journal forces you to be more present and aware of what's happening around you. And so your channels of life and experience itself start to open up. You become more fully aware of the scope of the environments that you're in on a day-to-day -day basis. So much of life tends to pass a lot of us by unnoticed. We don't see the moments of beauty that are around us at every turn, or we don't notice a beautiful memory that we're in before it's over. Like I'll write in my journal sometimes, I'll be like, oh, I'm here with my family at the beach or at this other place. And as I'm writing, I realize, wow, this is, this is a, a sacred memory that I'm living in right now. I promise you more awareness and presence, which this pocket journal will bring you, is going to bring more fulfillment to your life. And you'll feel it immediately by simply recording your thoughts and feelings down 
wherever you go. And on the topic of thoughts, the next thing is unlocking the importance of your ideas. Your ideas are so much more powerful and important than you give yourself credit for. By writing down your thoughts in this journal, you notice certain ideas that repeat maybe certain things in your head that have been there for a while, but you haven't stopped to notice them and notice why they are there. They're not there for no reason. Maybe all you have to do is dig a little deeper, explore that idea a little bit more, that repeating thought, and then you'll realize why it's been knocking the whole time. Something you can do is actually stream of conscious writing. I've talked about this before on my channel. Stream of conscious writing is essentially where you just write and you don't stop. Even if it's the words, I don't know what to write, or um, um, okay, uh, I'm running out of words to say, you, you don't stop. That's the number one rule. And eventually what happens is you confront this unexpected inner power. And then you read back your writing and your intuitive impressions of that writing are the answers that you're looking for. They're the answers that you need. And stream of conscious writing becomes super accessible when you carry this thing around. Sometimes I notice myself repeating certain ideas or topics or ideas throughout multiple entries. And that's how I know it's even more important if it just keeps coming up. It's my soul trying to let me know of something important that I have to act on. Often the things that come up the most and what you know they mean are the most important actions to take right now at your point in your life. And this is training your muscles of wisdom, of confidence, of intuition, because you're getting closer to the things that don't have to be validated by the outside world in order for you to know that they're true and they're the answers that you need to pursue. This journal allows you to be still, to write down your ideas, and also be open to receiving creative ideas. So for artists, this allows you to be still, to open your channels for receiving ideas, and you allow them to come more effortlessly, especially by training the muscles, acting on those moments of inspiration. When you get ideas, writing those down, that's training your muscles that receive ideas, because now you're feeding into that part that's connected to your soul. If an idea comes up and it calls to you, write it down. Don't forget it, there's nothing worse than when you forget a great idea. And it doesn't even need to be great according to the logistical mind. If it feels strong, you write it down and you'll understand it later. Now in these moments of silence and these moments of meandering, you can write down an idea and explore. I mean, think about how lovely this activity is. Instead of taking out your phone to scroll in those moments of silence, you get to write down on paper and pen an idea within your mind and you engage in the creative mind. I mean, that's a lovely activity to do in your life, that's a lovely practice to have. And it's just, it's so accessible. The next thing is being more in tune with your senses. So back to being more aware and present for moments around you, the environments, the sounds, birds chirping right now, what you see, what you smell, you start to become more aware of these five senses, right? Sight, what you hear, what you feel, what you smell, what you taste. When you become more in tune with these senses, you realize that sensitivity is a superpower. Sensitivity is a superpower because that is your relationship to the entire world around you, to the entire physical world around you. And you realize this because before you're unconscious of it. Again, life passing us by, going unnoticed. We don't really tune into our senses consciously, at least not in the world that we live in today. How many times do you enter a new environment and you don't even acknowledge or you don't stop to think, you know, take a breath and then realize everything that's around you. Looking at all the people in the place or noticing all the trees, noticing the colors, the textures, what you're smelling, what you're tasting. You're not usually doing this on a regular basis, but this is your superpower as a human, as an artist, to receiving ideas, to being able to experience life to its fullest, to coming closer to your own thoughts, feelings, and intuition. That is your sensitivity right there. And really the craft of creating your art because the artistic process is an entirely sensitive one you have to be sensitive to the things within you and the things around you i was in a filmmaking class sensory ethnography when i was in film school not too long ago where we would take around our sensory journals and one of the activities that we did in our journal was exactly this we would record down the senses of environments that we were in so we tune into the senses notice what we're observing and i noticed so many magical things in the environments that I was in day to day that I wouldn't even be aware of. The point of it is by training the muscles that are more in tune with your senses so that it becomes a natural thing in your life to be back reconnected with yourself, with your senses. Because again, right now, 
a lot of us live life unconsciously in terms of our physical senses. And so by doing this, observing your environments, writing them down in your pocket journal, you start to make it natural to be able to take in and notice so many more things in life. And finally, this thing, as if it hasn't become clear already, this thing brings you closer to what actually matters, which is your experience of life itself. Life is way too short, way too short to not notice life as it passes us by. We shouldn't be used by our creations, by the things that we bring around with us. We should be using them to our advantage. They should be serving us in some way. They shouldn't be draining us. Carrying around this thing, as simple and easy as it is, it makes such a big impact because it allows you to come in contact with the thing that's already around you. Again, like I said at the beginning of this video, the power of this activity is just the power within you. And it's opening up your channels of life of experience, of sensitivity. You can notice the things that you have to act on and build a stronger foundation for your life. Throughout the days, things come to the surface of the mind that we have to notice and act on, but we shouldn't just be suppressing those things or stuffing them down or distracting ourselves or filling in the noise. We should embrace life, we should run towards it. This pocket journal is a mirror showing you what's already there. And we honestly need more mirrors in our life. Instead of suppressing the things that come up and numbing our imagination, we have to engage with our imagination. We need to engage more with our ideas, our thoughts, our feelings, our sensitivity. These are the things that are truly most important in life. If you're resonating with what I'm talking about now, I highly recommend that you start bringing a pocket journal around with you. Because again, it's incredible the transformations that it makes from such a small item, but it's really not anything small at all. It's a source of infinity within you that this is just bringing out. This whole activity is very empowering when you actually stop to think about it and reflect on what's happening. In the moment, you feel better. Just, again, like the results of whipping out your phone, scrolling on it, you feel those effects kind of immediately. You feel those effects of drainage of energy or just the fogginess. It's the opposite with this thing. It feels really nice and shows you what you have to do. So I hope you resonated with this video. I hope you got something out of it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and for exclusive videos. Check out the Patreon. Check out the blogs on my website. Best of wishes to all of your projects. Go engage with your creativity. Do something nice for yourself today. Enjoy your life. Open up your experiences of life. Dream on. Follow God. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank <sighs> you.